Good afternoon, my name is Prince Comrade Olusola Adegboye, the Chairman of Human Rights Defender and Access to Justice Advocacy Center, also the Olu Omar of Shasha Kingdom, the Gos Nigeria. Here with me is all right, we were not supposed to operate today, rather we work today. We are supposed to have time for ourselves. But mistakenly, if I may use that word, the case already books that they were not able to cancel due to reason best not to the workers here. Uh, now we have to take it upon ourselves instead of being in honeymoon. Uh, we serve humanity, we put them at heart, they are our priority, that is the reason why we have to leave the hotel and come to attend to them here today. We want to use this same um, medium to say thank you to each and every one of you those who were there, those who couldn't come, who sent representative, whichever way you have supported us, we have we want to say thank you, we appreciate you. And those who were not able to support, we also want to say thank you. You know when dance, people dancing acrobatic, when they are dancing, if there are no crowds to watch them, they will not perform, where well, they will perform less. So those of you who were not able to support, but that were watching us, also support in that form. We want to say thank you. All right, thank you very much, uh, honorable viewers across the globe. My proper thanks go to everyone that find their way to the event center that they like to witness the coronation, rejoice with us, celebrate with us, dine and wine with us. God bless you, Rick Wood, and I thank God that everyone returned back to their various destinations in a very peaceful manner. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I know most of you truly love us. And those that supported us, both in winning cash and every other that that's with. God bless you with you. Thank you. Uh, youth empowerment that I created during the answers. Uh, a lady that represented that group, I want to say thank you and thank you once again. Uh, whenever we are making a video, especially for the Thanksgiving, we shall call each and every one of your name, if possible. All right, we'll be going direct to the purpose of our appearing today. Uh, it's a case of uh, domestic violence and uh, child neglect. We'll be giving them the opportunity to talk so that the world will understand and uh, probably resolve it. resolve it amicably. Thank you. Good afternoon, your name? Good afternoon, my name is Ms. Oparanita. So, what brought you to the office of the Human Rights Defender? I came to complain of uh, how my husband treats me and my children. I said I came to complain how my husband treats me and my children. So what happened? Go ahead. Okay. Well, I got married to him 2010. God bless us with two kids, a boy and a girl. So we are living together when things started changing. When I met him, when if he's going out like this, let me just break him down. He doesn't drop money for feeding. I am the one that is catering for feeding. I'll be collecting those things because I have a shop. I sell food stops. I'm collecting what we, what we are eating from the shop, everything from the shop. Till when things started going down, if I should run to him for him to assist me with money, he will say that he doesn't have. I'm not asking him. Every time he doesn't have, he doesn't have. What really happened? What is happening to you? What is happening to your money? He said that he doesn't have. But I kept quiet. I keep on trying my possible best, the one I can be able to do. But then, where we are living before, our house rent got expired. He couldn't be able to renew the house rent. 
He now took me to his elder brother's house. That is where we, we are living. We lived almost a year and then his brother now said that he cannot be able to renew the house, that we should move away from him. I now told him that, now that your brother said... Who opened the shop for you? The shop? Yeah. He was the one that opened the shop. So, continue. Okay. Then when his brother now said that we should leave, then I asked him, where are we now going to? He said there is no money for him to rent house. I said, okay, what do we do? He now said that he doesn't know anything. He, he, do, he did not have money to rent out, that he had nothing to do. And I came and said, going back to the village is not the best decision. So what do we do now? He said, okay, since his shop is double shop, that we should divide it so that we will be sleeping at the back of the shop. Then he will be using the front one to be selling. I said, okay, no problem. We now went there. This mic is for you, not for fun. Make use of it. Okay, we now went to the shop. We were sleeping at the shop. He kept us there for a good two years. He didn't do anything. I was, was now staying there with you. Before? Yeah. All of us. All of us were staying there. Mm -hmm. No, I was not asking. Uh -uh. How can we me with the children and even the boys that is staying with me? All of us were sleeping at the shop for a good two years. And even before then, there was a time that one of my customer came and told me that ah. There is an opportunity that came out to, the opportunity is a land that if I have money that we should be able to bring that money so that we can be able to apply it. And I told him that for now we don't have money, let me know what to do. So when I went to meet him, he said there is no money. I said, okay, let me run up and down and know what to do. That is when we agreed that we should go and borrow money and I borrowed money for us to acquire that land. After acquiring the land, we started building. After building, it came to a stage that it's remaining roofing. There is no money again. They are now asking, now that your brother said that we should leave, now we are now sleeping in the shop. What do we do about the house so that we can be able to complete it? He said that let's manage in the shop so that we can raise money and roof the house so that we'll be able to go in there. I said, okay, no problem. We started staying in that shop for a good two years, nothing, nothing. They didn't want to do anything about it. And if... No, I escaped something before and now came. So when he now and I told him that now that I'm sleeping in the shop, even with those kids, I'm no longer happy with it. So what do we do? He couldn't he didn't even want to tell me anything. And I tell him that let me go and look for money and rent the house. But if I should rent the house, we will now move down there. That is when I went to borrow money. I, I went to Microfinance Bank to borrow money. Who signed for you? Who was your shorty? My shorty. He was the one. He was the one. I went to Microfinance to borrow money. So when I rented the house, he's even no put it to my shop. A room and parlor self contained. He came there. We are all living together. And when all those things, if I'm paying the money, all those things is going down from my shop. So I was like asking him that things are no longer okay with me. Why can't you assist me? Sometimes I will run to him, help me with money. Let me be able to fix it. We are living in the same house. What I mean is that I will run to him is that if he might have lived to shop, I will go to his shop to meet him. His own shop? Yes. People have separate shops. Yes, yes. What does he do for a the same thing that I'm selling is what he's selling. Food stores, rice and beans. So when I went to him to uh, ask him for assistance and that, he would keep on lamenting for me eh, that the people that bought market for him has not paid him all this and that, that he didn't have money. And I kept quiet. Even from down my shop, I was paying those bills. I was feeding the kids. Even the school, they are going there. Sometimes I will ask him that school fees, these people is calling me for the school fees. I'm the one that is taking them there. They knew me there. He would say that, eh, that anytime that he has money that he will pay, that if I have, I should go and pay. I kept quiet. I keep on doing it. There was a time he now came to me and said that, eh, that he didn't have money. That how my I help him? I said that me too. I didn't have one. unless that will go for borrowing. I will show you the road where I'm borrowing. He now said okay that I should help him and organize people that will. That is a lady. He knew the lady. That I'm, she knew. He knew the lady that I'm talking about. The lady is my friend. The lady is the one that gar gar give, uh, guaranteed him for the money. He now collected the money. And even when he collected the money, I said that 
as you collect this money, why not assist me? I have spent a lot from my own side. How old are your kids? Ten and seven years. I have been spending from my own side. Yeah, after even sometimes if I want to collect money for the feeding, he will start beating me. The last one that he beat me that makes me to faint, and I called my mother and said that mommy, you people will not be there. I will be dying in this man region. This man doesn't drop anything as food. Even his children clothing, anything. He doesn't even know that his children will get clothes. Nothing, nothing. I'm the one that is scattering, doing all those things. In the morning, we'll just back up and go to his shop. He, once he's come back in the night, he will know that he will eat. My mom said that what happened. I said sometimes if I should block him from him to give me feeding money, he will, will start quarreling. From there he will start beating me. The last one that he beat me that makes me to faint. And I called my mom. My mom said that she can't come from the village. That he should call, let her call my sister. So that my sister will come down to where I'm staying to come and rescue me. My mom now called my sister. My sister said, now called me and said, how far? How are you coping now? And I tell her that, don't worry, everything is now getting better. But Did you just say that you people bought the land and started uh, renting you the meat. Yeah, we bought the land. How much did you buy that land? As of then, mm -hmm. it was 300,000. Okay. And uh, so far, so good, what the material is, how much? I can't mention, but we have put a lot in that land. Like 500,000? More than. So, continue. Okay, after the, him beating me, doing all those things, Okay, listen. I will allow you to talk. Have you ever tried this formula or experiment? When you get to your bed, you don't sit down. Not even you don't sit down before you lie down. I don't really understand. Okay. You normally sit down before you lie down. Yes. Good. But in this case, you people did not sit down before lying down. I know where it will end though. I'm already seeing the error, but I will let you talk to the world. You understand? I will allow you to talk. Because there is no money, you buy land. No money, you are putting money in materials. No money, you manage to open one shop. No money, he opened his own shop. At the end of the day, I'm going to tell you, you are not very good in managing home. I will not allow you yet, but I will allow you. How can you be building as when you are not stable yet? And the problem, as I'm seeing now, will end up in no money. Continue. Okay. Even what really makes me to bring in a uh, boiling of money or no boiling of money? Because the lady that uh, guaranteed him, when the lady needs money, I was the one that stood for the lady for guarantor. The lady took uh, 250000 and he was away. He was he's even the one that said I should go and guarantee the lady. When the lady made away with the money, I was the only one paying for the money. I paid 300000 for that lady. Out of that 300000 I was still paying the one that I borrowed. I was still paying for the lady. Even my shop rent, I was the one that even paying. So it got to a stage that I cannot be able... I, I, I didn't have money to put in stocks anymore. So... I have to tell him that he should assist me. Let me know if I can be able to put in things in order. Sometimes, if I should go to his shop to go and collect goods, he will not allow me. Even if I should go to my market to buy those goods, he will be the one even to come and collect some market from my shop. If I should now go for him to collect some in order for me to sell and earn money, he will, he will be telling me that I should get that from his shop, this and that. He won't tell his brother not to allow me to be coming inside the shop. And I keep quiet. See, when you go to a stage, I cannot be able to manage the shop again. Everything got down. I don't have any dime with me. And I told him that since I don't have money with me. Are you no, I'm a person. Since I don't have money with me, and you're not supporting me, nothing, nothing. I want to go and meet my sister. Let me know if my sister can be. Even my sister even can give me witness. Sometimes I'll be calling my sister from there. That people that I'm owing is calling me, pushing me up and down. That he should help me and assist me with some money. My sister will now tell me that I should wait. Let him call her husband. So her husband will transfer the money to me. I used to be settling some certain debt. My sister was like asking me, uh -uh. every time I keep on complaining of money, complaining of money. Doesn't mean that this man doesn't assist you or doing anything. I'll now tell my sister that I think, thank God that you know what is happening. You have. Yes, sir? Did you tell your sister when your husband opened a business shop for you? 
Even the shop that he, he's not, let me just use this word. I, I said that he was the one that opened the shop. Why the shop, how I came to manage to operate that shop is on my own. Because when I met him, we were managing one shop. Till so when things got done, he said that he didn't have, he borrowed money from his brother's wife that he's paying interest. And I asked him, why will you borrow money from your brother's wife and be paying interest? He said that since there is no money here, there is nothing we can do. And I stood with him without one shop and raised money. If I can be able to go for another. Where huh? how? You stood with him in that shop. The first shop. There is money from outside or from the shop. No. The first one, because we have one shop. From that one shop, we now raise money to another. How did you raise the money now? You know, let me tell you something. I can be in your house and go outside to sell Guguru at Ekpa. I will put in your business, but I'm leaving your shop to go and sell. I can be in your shop and bought things on my own and be selling that shop. Maybe you used to sell provision. I can be selling cigarettes and beer just to make sure I did not rent another shop to enable me to raise money and support. You can't say I was in that shop and uh, raise money from where? Are you a magician? Tell us how you raise the money now. Okay. When we are in one shop, there was a woman that is giving us market. Now, I'm told you now, since this woman is supplying us market and the expenses now is much, I have to rent another shop. I will go and collect market from that woman and be selling. He too will be managing the other one. That's how I raised the second shop. So, when it goes to a stage, I don't have anything at the shop. I ran to him. He told me that he didn't have one. Even a day before I leave, from my house, and I went to my sister's place. I was begging him that these people is calling me, chasing me up and down. There is no way for me to raise money. He was telling me that that one is none of his business. That if I if I like, I should look for where I can get money. If I didn't like, that, I should stay there. Maybe I'm the one that look that I'm looking for. I don't get problem. Every day I keep on weeping, crying, crying. Till when I called my sister, I said, "My sister, ah, Alpha, please, I want to come to your side. Though. Let me know if my." Body temperature will come down because that it makes me I develop BP. Sorry about that. And I went to my sister. My sister was the one feeding me, feeding my children. Then I hold a minute. We are afraid of BP in this uh, organization. How is your BP condition now? We don't neglect BP here. But I thank God now. No, I'm, you I'm, must tell us how it be. I'm controlling it. How, 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 what was the level as at yesterday? Or no, I didn't check yesterday. When last did you check it? It was last week. We are going to check you. Do you have water? Yes. They will be sipping your water and be talking uh, slowly. I will get back with the machine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Even when I called my sister and asked my sister, please, I want to come to your side. Let me know if I can be able to raise money because people that I'm owing is always on my neck. Even his sister said, that is the money that his sister borrowed. I'm the one that went to show them where they borrowed the money. His sister cannot be able to pay the money. I was the one that paid it. Me and him, we have issue because of that money. I went to, even his brother, we have issue because of that money. I went to his brother. And asking that your sister and came to borrow money now, he cannot be able to pay that one. They were, they were now pursuing me, looking for me up and down. He said uh, that I shouldn't disturb him. That he, uh, let me know if I brought any money from my mother's place to their place. I kept quiet. I paid the money. I paid my house rent. I paid my shop rent. I was the feeding money was through down my shop before everything now got down. I moved down to my sister's place. When I moved down to my sister's place, I first went with my daughter. Because my aim of going down to my sister's place was for me to be able to stay a little bit and gather money and come back so that I can be able to settle those debts. Even when I, I went down to my sister, people were calling me, ah, why did you leave your son behind? That nobody is taking care of this boy. We, we, we see him moving up and down, this and that. And I called him that. People are calling me because of this boy. What happened? That... Does it mean that you are not taking care of the boy? He said that if I want to come and take the boy, I should come and take the boy. And I said that I cannot be able to come. I send a friend, which... He... Are you okay? I'm okay. 
Right? Just coming to your house. No, no. What she saying is just coming to your house. When you, when we need all this, your life, we take it to our amusement park session. Then you. Are you smiling? I'm just, I'm coming. You are just funny. So when, when he we He was trying to before he started uh, smiling. So it, it's right. possible. Okay, it's funny to me. Okay, so leave, leave me. Leave. So long he cried before smiling. So <laughs> he did not start by the laugh. He was crying before. It's funny to me. No. Let her continue. So he was now. He now. Ah, big All right, you can continue. Yeah, good to go. So when I moved down to my sister's place, I called for my son because people said that the way they do, uh, they do see him walking up and that nobody's taking care of him. And I sent a friend. That friend, she's supposed to be here with me, but she couldn't meet. She couldn't meet up. So that friend now went there. He packed my boy's clothes and gave him, gave her. The girl now brought my son with me. This boy, when they came, it was my sister that is even the one feeding me, feeding my children. Where if I should call him, Alpha, these children, what would they, what are they eating? He would tell me that eh, that the money that I left behind, that he was the one paying it, that I should not call him for these children feeding. I kept quiet for one year. He couldn't. He didn't even ask of what these children is, is eating. He didn't even ask about the children. S uh, second year, he didn't even ask about those children. Even before then, I went down to my village because my mom said I should come back home to complain what is happening. When I get down to my village, my mom and I called him and said, "Mr. Man, what is going on? Your wife is in the village. Come down to the east. She came to complain something. Let us know what is happening." My, when my mother called him, he didn't even want to go. I waited and waited and waited. He didn't, my mommy said, I, I have to go back to Lagos. Let me go and find what these children is eating. So that let's be waiting for him. Okay, summarize the story because you have other people to attend. So, Did you later, you, find, you later close up the shop? Yes. Uh, you took one child? I left with one. Later, yeah. he now sent the second to me. Okay. But I'm with the two now. All right, continue. So after one year, he didn't send anything. Two years, he didn't send anything. Even those children, one day, when we leave, we leave first. They are feeding. It's my sister that is feeding us. They are not going to school. Until when I gathered money, I first started cooking in the market. That one couldn't work. I started working. When I started working, I now managed to uh, save money. How when many I, years ago did you leave the marriage? Three years now. Three years. Uh, uh, I have, uh, 
the important thing or rather most important thing about this uh, issue you have expressed your side, isn't it? Yes. Okay, because something that makes you to leave the marriage must be very strong or powerful. You've already lived the marriage. So however you struggle to feed the child now, it's also important, but that is the area where we will not allow him to talk. Yet after, when we hear from him, we will not allow people to call him before we will not tell you our salvation. So if you still have other things you feel is important that your husband may touch later, you have to quickly take point now. Okay. The main thing that really brought me here, when I left with these kids, two years, they didn't even cut up for what they are eating. I was the one that put them in school, paying their school fees, feeding them. I will call him. He will be telling me that uh, there, is, there is no money, there is no money. That has been his language, there is no money. Even when I called my mom, my mom, my mom said, which kind of husband is it? Every time, there is no money, there is no money, there is no money. Even my, even is my, my children, their wearing clothes is my sister. Their eating is my sister. So when I got another man said, how can I be catering for all these children with, uh, for him not to be able to do anything? And I called me, even if that me and you have issue that you don't want to see me, that your kids, at least you could have come and see them or you could bring what they are eating. After that one, him, uh, where you born? Huh? I, I said, after uh, when I called him. No, the grammar no easy for uh, me. Use if I use it, I don't know if you understand. So we have a barista here. She will. She will interpret it. Okay. So. If that is the way you can express yourself better, go on Igbo. We have seventy-five percent Igbo viewers here. Okay. Uh, if this, even the, their school fees, I'm the one paying. Till you lockdown, you yes, no. No, I just want to round up. Till during the lockdown, is during the lockdown he now came into the picture. What makes him to come into the, into the picture is this: his friend. It's like he met his friend. He met the friend was like asking him, "Where is your wife?" He said, "My wife is not with me." The friend said, "Why should you be separate? Your wife will be separate." His friend now said, "Okay, let's go and see your wife." Before the now come down to me, and when his friend came, and I narrate everything that happened for his friend. His friend now said, "If." Is truly what he even he, he said told him that what he's doing is not good. You can't allow a woman to be feeding your children, you can't allow a woman to be uh, paying your children school fees. His friend now said that anything pertaining school fees that I should stop it, that is not my work for me to be paying school fees since he's still alive. And I'm told that his friend, his own friend, his own friend that I should stop paying the school fees, that let him be paying the school fees, that is not my right for me to be paying the school fees. And I'm telling his friend, if I should stop, sometimes if I should call him, he will not be able to respond. His friend said, if he didn't respond, I should call him. I said, okay. If I want to get food, I will call him. He will tell that, he, uh, that he's not sending that. I will not call his friend. He said, now, before I can be able to get something from him, will, his friend will call him. Before he'll be able to send something from me. If I should ask him for feeding money, sometimes he'll be sending 4000 3000 Till this, before this sister, this sister, because me and my kids, we have nothing to eat. When I called his elder brother, his elder brother, his elder brother and I said, ah, why will children be behaving like this? Why won't you be sending feeding money for you people? Okay, so now what now happens? So, finalize now. You are repeating the same thing. You are using left to talk the same thing, back the same thing, talk left the same thing. You summarize, you have found out that you and your children don't have anything to eat. So at the end, now what now happened before you brought him here? Okay. What really happened that makes me to both bring him here is this. The feeding money. The I feeding money, Abby. Yes. And the school fees. I want him to be paying the school fees. Madame. And the feeding money. Madame. Let it be a within this thing. Madame Assembly, give the man. Let them say Is that all? As in, what, what? What I really mean is this, for him to be taking care of his kids, because he's not taking care of the you kids. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That and or yes. Or? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Your name? My name is uh, Austin Opara. Mm. Uh, um, I'm from the States. I asked whether you're okay. You know that some people, they mental problems, they'll be laughing. They say they're normal. 
Mommy, the, the, the something is very funny to me. Uh -huh. I'm just so, saying. Arrange yourself. So leave the laughing matter. Nobody is here. We are not joking here. No, I'm not joking, mommy. Yes. Some, some, some things us. that will come up like this. In the first place, I'm so surprised that he put. I mean, I'm so surprised that uh, I was called here. So last, last two weeks, mm -hmm. that I was around. I told him, this on the fourth, I'll be able to come because I wasn't in the, I was still in the state. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, to start with, mom, you know, I said, I don't want the camera stuff because I'm a policy man. My family is you, I don't bring it out, no matter anything. Okay, she don't bring the Mom, I'm, I'm coming, mom, I'm coming. I don't bring it, but now she wants it openly. Fine. Use the mic. To start with, mom, before I married her, I have two shops. I opened my first shop, 2008. The second one was, that 2008, uh, it was that 2008, it ended of that 2008. Then I, I got married, we got married around 2010 or so. But she was saying she opened the shop with me. That was when I, I, I got the shop because I, got her, I, mean, I, I married her. Really, we were uh, first dating before she left. And this is for a, a year now. She now came back again. That was the bygone issue. Oh, no, were, so we are with two kids. Uh, as a man, mom, if I lied against her, God is between, I and, is between me, I and her and God. No one else again. I got married to her, and we have two kids. Like what she said, one is nine going to ten, one is seven, seven years old. Along the line, there's nothing she will bring forward. Even if I don't have that money, even if I don't have that money, I will make sure I will, I will make her happy. The land of a team, the first place, like the land of a team, that's the first place. I was not with. Use your mindset. I was not with fully. I was not with money then. No, let me start with. I was with my, like, my, my brother when I got married to her. She was saying we must go for. We must go for our own apartment. I said, calm down. I said, calm down. Let me. Let, at least let's. Before you do anything, you have to. Okay, before you. I, at least you have less left over. Whenever you're doing it, you, have, you must have left over. She, I mean, she, she won't blame me. The first three bedroom flat I, I, I got then. She was gonna even push me to it. I have to make her happy for that. I said, let's go, let's go for your mom. She refused. No, you are not going to say anything. No. When I now got the uh, uh, bedroom flat, we said, I mean, our, our living. Then my boys that are coming to me, I, I, I used to bring. She would bring from their, state, from their place and they're kind of using that shop as someone will come and steal and go. Come and steal. I said, Madam. You mean her relatives? Yeah, that is what she does. Because they don't come from her side. Mm -hmm. They will come and say, Fine. I said, I said, I said Fine, please. Since we are husband and wife, and we have two kids, why can't you just manage one shop? Let me manage the other one. She now accepted. Then her mom was with us. Then we started managing the two shops. That was how we. Along the line, there was a time. She said, Ah. Her mate is traveling because if you don't travel three times in a year, she will never be okay. I said, Come on down to, to the village. Fine, I was going to put up here in Lagos. I was going to put up here in Lagos. Anything village, I, I don't so much um, abide with it. I said, Look, but anytime she traveled, mom, she must come with a temptation that this have killed this, this have done that. This is about time. She now said, We must travel. I said, I'm, I'm ready for that. She I mean, she persuaded me, I have to go and get um, a fairly, not really a fairly used uh, uh, car, full of her. I went to a length that even affected me, full of her. I said, I'm not traveling. But on the first of Happy New Year, she did not go to, uh, to church with me, because of that issue, that I'm not traveling. I left with, uh, alone. When I came back that morning, I said, okay, madam, stand up, let's travel. I took the risks, just that, 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 that I mean, full of her. Then house of 18, fine, she was, one that brought her friend to me, that ah, there's I access on the ground. I said, okay, fine, but I don't have money. He said, okay, that she, uh, uh, I said, how much? Then I said, I have to pay some money. So the woman said, ah, she need money. And I said, okay, what's the next thing to do? And I said, okay, she will stand, I mean, she will borrow money, then I will stand for her. That's how I paid that money and I collect those money. Then, then I part money for, land. for the land. 
the home we are building, I was being asked for my own shop. Mommy, I'm not a bank manager. I'm not an oil company. One shop, I within a, 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 a year, I bought the land and erected it to, to the uh, to, I mean to the extent uh, just to to, to, to roof it. But it's not easy. Now, that one, I, I mean, I was done. The final, I mean, the, the uh, uh, thing that comes in is this. She was using a particular phone. I tell that phone. This I'm saying. This is my first. My, my family first was telling this to you. I did not tell any of my, my, my family. God bear witness. No, no, I don't like taking issue of my family issue out. My brother is here. He did not mean anything about this. They don't know anything about this. But I keep my things alone. The way you are pointing at me. Mommy, sorry. I'm sorry. Mommy, he's paining me. Now, mommy. She was using an iTel phone like this. Microphone. Then the iTel phone, when the iTel phone got spoiled, he now left the phone. Now I bought another phone. I said, instead of me going to get them buy another phone, I wasn't on this uh, touch life. I said, I have a lot on my neck doing. Why would I go for a big phone? Mine is just to sell rice and beans. I don't do these things for now. I, I have to get that phone. She did not know. I went and repaired that phone and started using it. What mean that phone? She did not walk out from that phone. Can you believe that everything she was doing, every damn thing she, I mean, she was doing, I was seeing everything in that phone. Okay. How she was. Yeah. Mommy, I'm coming. No, the last half is now. I was robbed. I was robbed and they took away the phone, my the other phone, and even my money. You were robbed where? In my house there, where I stayed. I was robbed. So. She there when robbed? No, 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 she, she has left. I kept that phone for a proof. So in case of, I, I know it will come up like this. Is it on text message or on uh, Mommy, it's, uh, on messenger. Mommy, in my, uh, I mean, even I will, I will be with her. Like that, she will sat the rest of me, I will sit on it. What are you trying to say? Are you accusing Mommy, friend? yes, Mommy. Mommy, in my house, that, sir, sir, in my house, she was, Mommy, I, I, I'm still coming. Mm -hmm. To the extent, when we travel the last one and come back from the Exmar stuff, she told me that she wants to go into India Hem stuff. Because what she said, I should go and make money. I said, I said, I said calm down, madam. It's not all about money. It's where we are going to. It's not how, um, uh, how far, it's how well. He said, I should go and make money. I go to their village. A young boy have built this. I said, that was an umbra. I'm not an umbra man. I'm from the state. We like farming. So along the line, I don't know that she has engaged herself with the India Hem stuff. She invited herself to a police uh, officer. So when she was doing all these things, I was seeing all these things. No. I mean, she comes back. I said, oh, Madam, I went to my prophet today. Oh. Are you not saying your wife was dealing on India with a police she, officer? No, she wants to go into it. So she wants to make that connection. But I'm still coming. Then when... Okay, let me help you out. Okay, sir. You are stressing my brain because okay, here I'm even trying to understand. And okay. I don't know how viewers will even understand this. Okay. We accept all language here. Okay. Especially pidgin English. Let's go on pidgin English. Not to say because Sir. your wife tried to speak. You say one time because your wife almost bite her tongue now. Sir, I'm not going to. I will. I at least. I'm not going. I'm not going to. I'm a stammerer. That's what I'm about. Okay. Don't be too fast. Okay, sir. I'm I a stammerer. I have uh, blood pressure. No. So I have none. Okay, then calm down. Okay, you sir. You have water with you. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. when you talk small, you sip and small. Okay, sir. That kind yeah. of thing. Even in only ten points you make, people will understand that you want to make hundred points. At the end of the day, they are pointless. Okay, sir. Eh? Calm down. Just the big point, okay? okay sir. Waiting, make the marriage break. Uh, waiting, make you not feed your children. Waiting, make you not pay school fees. So you, the reason why I did not send money to my children, it was this. The reason why the marriage did not work, it was this. You can pick point and it will be okay. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. So it's like when she, when I now got her red-handed, she pleaded. With when, what? On with, what? When the, 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 the officers, the around up at twelve. Party on a draw. Yes, when I came to drop her. And she, I mean, she knew that I was outside the. Uh, uh, and she knew that I was, I was outside the distance, the the the, the uh, shop there. And I saw her. And I called her. So she now pleaded that she would never do it again. This that. Uh, it's okay, fine. But I was still with her. I don't complain to anybody. Not my, my family. Don't know about this. 
I kept those things. So she, she was doing all this in, in, in my house. Even at times she would tell people that, and the father left the children, the ran away. This is that. I'm just looking at something. So that one back was her. Then, um, after everything, she now went into collecting loans, which I did not know. When, she, when we left where we were staying, she went to, I mean, she now made, uh, made friends in, uh, uh, in the new apartment. She makes friends there, and those friends now lived, uh, now, those friends now pushed her, I don't know. I told her, I said, Madam, I don't have friends. There's no kind of friends you, I mean, you will make. Along the line, they now went to, I mean, to have uh, collect loans and all of those things. And she stood for someone which I don't know. When the the do not run away with the money, she started paying the money. Which I, she even she did not tell me when the second man booked her. She now told me when you are going through all these things. Did you tell me as your husband? You did not tell me. Fine, I, don't, I will not come into it. No, 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 what like that, ma? After everything, she now uh, uh, the thing was kind of heavy. Uh, I mean, kind of uh, heavy to her. She now left home. When she left home, I did not know. It was on Sunday. She left with the little kid, uh, the girl. Now left the boy at home. When I got home, I said, "Ah, then I said, ah, Daddy, mommy, I've gone with Amarachi. I said, ah, I've gone with Amarachi. I said, What happened? I said, ah, I mean, he did not know. I said, Okay, fine. Immediately, I called her phone to switch off. And I called, and I left, later in the evening, the night, and I called her sister. She's here with me here now. I called her sister. I said, Only she, did you see your sister? He said, Yes. I said, Okay, fine. That's what now I want. The next thing I called, I said, Did he tell you what happened? He said, She was, I mean, she was owing. I said, She was owing. And look, they, they duped her. They duped you. And before she left, there was a guy from, from uh, Germany, I don't know, that came in, um, into Nigeria, that was, that, that was doing a business st store for her. I did not know. Did he pay her dad? Yes, I paid her diary. Now I was in a visa stop for her. I did not know. I was in a visa on that. But it was that one that then I said, Come, we're a woman. Which phone are you using before? He said, I tell. He said, Which phone is your husband using? He said, same I tell. Then I said, I said, I was sitting on that this thing there. Then I said, Did you log out when you left the phone? He said, No, that was a, a fool. Then I logged out. Immediately on our phone, she now logged out. Then I, I, I stopped seeing those things. The next, I thought, the third day, that is guy not came to our shop. I have to tell you that this a woman is a married woman. You could just leave her alone with two kids. It was the fourth day she now left home. So I called the sister. Just, I said, and they duped her. I said, fine. They duped you. Uh, you. Along the line. So the money she, I mean, she collected was more than half a million. She collected. Thank God, Groomy is a financial uh, institute registered. Lapo, they are there. We are the, the, my, my rice, uh, my rice there. She's owing. The beans, she's owing. She left everything. They did not disturb me. But the way they are coming, looking for her, and she used some pa uh, pastor for her uh, uh, the I can't stand it. From states, they, they, they have a big police from uh, Lagos to Ogun states. Come on, I mean, arrest the man. I have to go, I said, be fine. Sir, all these things, she did she the bullet one, I will pay it. Mom, I pay all this money. Have, I still have my witness. She, she was only more than half a million. I paid Google almost more than 70,000. But I said, this I'll, I'll be paying it. I'll be paying it uh, instrumentally. I can't pay it at once. But they, they, I mean, they, they said she's my wife. I said, no problem. I'll pay it. I paid uh, Groomy 170000 But I paid instrumentally. I paid, uh, when she's owing um, Bio Rice, she, she owing that, that one 160000 I paid that one. Lapo, she was owing them. They still have their office there. She was owing Lapo. Even when we are doing uh, this uh, monthly contribution, she was only them 30,000 naira. The beans were a man. She was only that one almost seven or 80,000 naira out. I stood and paid. Oh, all these things. These three years now. And I said, please, this money I'm paying them. Come and take a uh, non So let me face this because you are not at home. And this was coming from school. school so I won't be at rest. And I don't like separating my children. Even though I, mean, I don't want two of them, bring the other girl to me. If you don't like it, take two of them, let me face the money we are owing. I stood and paid all this money. She now, like she told me that, okay, I should pay this money, that she will face their school. Their school. Throughout that year, last three years, I paid this money. Mommy, the children were, were not in school. 
So when I came the following year, what you say? She said, it's only COVID-19. I came. When I came towards uh, uh, three years ending, I now called my children. They came to her from South Bay, to my place. The, the boy had to tell me that she's not in school. When I worked, she not in school. said, yes. When I said, yes, I have to ask her. She was saying, um, this, I mean, she don't have money. I said, okay, no problem. Mommy, before I was giving her cash, it was one of my friends, not that one she, she, she said, oh, one of my first friends, we came like three times. That one said, this cash that I mean, you're giving your, your wife, something may, may come up later, stop giving her cash. Now I'm paying money into, uh, I don't know the school fees or the, I mean, the school, I, I keep on asking the school, I mean, she, I mean, she don't want to tell me. It was the COVID-19 that I now stood and went to their school and got their school myself. Let me have my proof here. I was paying their school fees. I paid their school fees and I was sending money to her. If I put her seven of account, I'll let me pick mine. Let's see. I do give her money. Even twice in a month. I'll tell my friend, please, is my, my guy, guy, the first one. That will be the car. I sell food stuffs. I will bring guys everything I'm selling. They to this, I'll drink to a fish. A goosey, I'll bring them to her. How many kids? Two kids. The last one I bought was. Uh, January, what about what, 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 what more than 50,000 naira? Cash is not there, and I see with the school fees. And again, how much is the school fees? I the total there is like um 20, the other one was 27, 200, 26, 200 times two. Like everything I, I was paying, I, I do pay. Let me see what flip all their books and everything 90,000. So that's when I put roughly. It's in my phone. It's my, in my phone. Even the school called them. They will what tell you. The like this last one was March. It's still, it's still here. This, I was, year. this year. And I was still, 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 still in the 8,600. And they, they just entered this new one. You were paying the debts. Huh? She left. You, you were paying the debts. Yes, she... I was paying the debt. I paid the debt. She, I mean, she left. Right. I still have my proof. My proof. I, so I, I, along the line, she now came as I, I, and I said, then I, I said, I can't be paying that, uh, those money, I'm still paying for it. Let's just say they'll be in school, but now they, they're not in school. After that one, I, that's what my friend I works with, military people, uh, this thing. Now I came and said, ah, fine, let's go. Ask. We came there three times, three good times. Then I said, Mr. Man, stop giving this woman cash. You came where? I, I, I came to her place, but I, I come to her place more than six or seven times now. With another friend, they, another friend again, no. No, to here, no, to here. To beg her or to do what? That last time I came. But I didn't know that she, I mean, she has left. She yes, didn't. Huh? That, I mean, she's no more. I mean, she has divorced the marriage. How? Huh? I don't know. It's what, when I came, my friend I said, ah, you have, you have, you have you That was when she left. Separated. When she left, I mean, she, 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 she said the death was much on her. She not came to her sister's place. Okay, from the shop. From the, from the where we live. She did not let the debt she's owing. Then Nali for sure, part of Nali no, for sure. We, we now, uh, went to a, to a, I mean, a house. That's what we did. Now we went to a room and After Nali for sure. Yeah, yeah, for like, yeah. Okay. Then I follow uh, self-com. So after everything, now my friend has said, stop giving her money. If, if I come, I'll take them out, take the children out. But, so that that's the impression. Yes. Now I said, ah, madam, this man has paid most of all this money. Why can't you... Come, let him rent a house around that area. He said, ah, no, that your people have said you should not marry again. Hey. That your people have said you should not marry again. I don't hey. that. When, that when you, uh, you put say yourself, when you, we, uh, you, uh, you put, when you people say yourself, did your mommy know about it? That she please, don't listen to anybody. I said, but you don't tell me all, all, uh, all these things now. Like, I mean, you're no more doing it again. He said, ah, that uh, I, should come, I should come to their village and collect my bed my, uh, bed price. I said, ah, no problem. And when I has come to Lagos three good times. She's not asked her. But I said, mom, I said, mom, look at the money your, your daughter is owing. When the issue was, I mean, it's not at first. When I said, is your wife, go and pay the money. He said, is your wife, go and pay the money. So after everything, when uh, uh, I know the, the school fees, I have the I have the proof. I have everything. I've been last week or last two weeks. Last week, 
I paid money into her account, 20,000 naira. So when she now said, she, I mean, she, uh, she started in again. This, last week, last last week. week, they called me on the 14th, on the 14th, on the 14th. Now that on the 14th, in the morning, of it, uh, no, on Friday, I paid, I paid, that is, uh, I paid 20,000 naira. Not knowing she, I mean, she has brought me here. So on, the, on Monday morning, I was calling her to tell her to ask, of course, she let me talk to them. She didn't pick my call. It was around 10, 11, I received a message from this office. From the office. You mean less than two weeks or how many weeks ago you paid 200? I paid 20,000 naira. Madam, did he pay 20,000? Yeah, he paid it 20,000. I paid... Give her to answer that. He paid in 20,000. Now, give him back the money. I paid 20,000 naira. And along the line, I said my, my first son is above that class. He is. That I want him to go for... Um, uh, this why um, from uh, uh, primary six. He said he said it's twenty five thousand. Uh, come on and try. He said it's twenty five thousand naira. He said it's, it's much. I said yeah, it's a late, it's a late form. I said late form. I said okay, send the school account. Let me pay in. You said no. That I should pay to your own account. I still pay to, to your own account. How much? That was twenty five thousand naira. That? that was last last two or last three months. This year. You leave three months. Contact last week. No, was, no. He said I'm not paying anything. He, he said I, I, mean, I was not paying anything. I paid. I paid all those things. I said I was not paying anything. Anything about the school stuff, I was doing it. So anything that I mean, I, 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 I even. You allow him to be talking to you. You should have corrected him. So I was doing at least for. I was doing everything to do. I, I can't. Lie, you are going to sleep here. So, sir. <laughs> I know where you did go. Okay, sir. So now I have to. I said, madam, you said you're not doing it. He said, yes. Let me that was why I, how I just went into. I got. I have to marry. I have to remarry. When did you marry? I married them. Um, this, this year or last year? This year. Is, um, this Thursday will be two, two months. And I make a break you here. No, I have been here before the marriage. I didn't know. So I I did my wedding um this uh, last. Have you, have you gone to your guy? Ma, ma? Are you, have you gone to your He said I should come with my people. No, have you gone to college? No. So you are married to two wives. Mama, I'm not married to. Uh, she, she says she's no more doing. No, you are married to two wives. You are married to two wives. Oh, oh, so, <laughs> so, so I she said she's no more doing. Now you're supposed to have gone to the village and go and divorce yeah. her officially. Yeah. Mommy, the person that I mean, the people that that went with me. You have pre-planned your marriage. No. That's why you're frustrating her. Mommy, no. Mommy, never. So why would you? The lady, I. Okay. Yes. Ma. Hold on. Okay. If she leave the marriage, or she left your house based on the ground that she accumulated bills. And you accepted to pay the bills. Okay. And you know where she was, or you you went there to marry that. Automatically, you know the village she comes from. And there is no way they will send diary to you, as tradition demand from any other tribe that you are married okay. in Nigeria. You have to go to where you married the woman and get your diary. Mommy. You cannot have. Excuse me. Okay. You can't hand your diary on her head and you go ahead to marry another woman. You say you are married to one wife. Okay, mommy. She, that is the, that is the one you called me. No Let me simple. talk. That is, the, that, is the, the, that is the one you called me. That I should come. I should talk to my uncle to come. My uncle is ill. They can't. I mean, they can't come. I have nobody in the village. And you are big enough to go there. You said that I should not come alone. Mom said that I should not come alone. I should come with those people that came with me then. I should not come alone, mommy. They were not alive because they are great. Yes, they are great. Mommy, then how will I do it? Anyway, that is your. How will I do it? Drag your two wives with you, but let's go straight to what we have uh, listened so far. Madam, relax. So, when we ask you to talk, you not talk for this one. Did you actually borrow money you left in debt? Yes, I How borrowed money. Prices? The place that I'm doing a job, I'm I paid to you. I'm owing them thirty thousand. The grooming, I paid the five hundred thousand that I collected from them. Mm -hmm. I paid uh, one twenty thousand. It stopped at one twenty thousand. Yeah. The other place is where I'm selling, where the woman is giving me goods. Mm -hmm. Even out of the goods, he do collect from it. Don't worry. Don't I paid that woman till the money remaining one twenty. That is two hundred seventy. 
270. Out of that money, because when I cried to my mother, my mom now collected money from my sisters without them knowing. He sent to my account. After when I left one week, my mom collected 60,000. Mm -hmm. I come down and settle some of them before I now go back after one week. Then even what makes me not to meet up, even this my sister. How much did you think you were owing in general? In general. Mm, we have it should be 250. It should be 250, no, we calculated yeah. 270 already. Okay, let me just call this boy. It's not up to. I escaped something when we were, we were, you know, you people were asking me, is that all, is that all? So I can't be able to. Let me just chip in one thing. Did you know you were coming here today? I knew. No. Can I go? Continue. What really, uh, what makes me to complain here is this: one, I never tell my, my people we are calling him for them to know what the problem is between me and him, and he refused to go down to the east. Apart from that one, when, this, you, when you left and carried the child to your village, did you first tell him that you are flying to your village? You were with your sister. Yeah. Uh, when, hold on, uh, hold on. I'm asking you calm down first. Okay. Because you can't act like a street wife, a person. You are married and you must behave like a, street, a, a married woman. You left home because your your overdebt become an embarrassment to right. everybody, mm. to yourself, to your children and to the man himself. You left your matrimonial home to go and be putting up with your sister. Then all of a sudden you carry the child to the village and you know the children are schooling in Lagos. You take them from, from your, your left one and took one to your village without the approval of the man. Even if you are the one controlling the house. Madam, the he's away. He's away. Even the keke that I brought, he was the one that put the bag inside me. The, the, the okay, bag inside me. He was away. Hold on, hold on. You were in Lagos with your sister. Managing with your husband. And you both of you have financial challenges. What makes you let him and go to the village? The man did not need you sex-wise. He did not need you physical advice. He did not need you to console him. He did not need you to support his business, whether you are running a task or anything. What is that thing that you are borrowing? Why do you become a debtor, borrowing money all over? Is that not a spirit? Spirit of debt? You borrow from Lapo, you borrow from this, you borrow from that. How much were you eating that you have to crash down your own business where you are doing your business until you go into the boring all over Nigeria? Let me come in. Let me come in. Anyway, I'm not the one who has so no, 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 I'm not the one You were asking me that I'm borrowing, I'm borrowing. Uh, Out of that money that I'm borrowing, I will go and get goods. He will come and carry out of it. He will come and carry out of it. He will not you, even return the money to me. The, the drugs. You were going to drug the... I didn't. This, because I wanted to say something when he was uh, before God and man. I never. Even the one that he was saying that a policeman dropped me. Never in my life. Never. I never. Because I wanted to raise. I don't want it to go to issue. You advised him to go into drugs. I never did. All those things. He just calculated this on his... I, I have not. I have not. Were you having any... any uh, Samaritan... Affair. No. Hmm? No. What if you began to prove? Because you can still get your proof. No problem. So, no, problem. Eh? no problem. What if you get the proof? Uh-uh. We can see, child. I'm not having any extra marital affair. Go ahead. Are you married now? To another man? No. You are still carrying the man ring. Maybe another ring. Are you wedded in court? In church. In church. You oh. did not deserve traditionally. And you did not go to court to also deserve your marriage. That one was going to sue you for that. That is a different thing entirely. If you did not take the consent of your wife, you just went and married another wife. No, no problem, no dissolution. You are just saying, okay, you went ahead and married. The risk you are carrying is it for the new wife or the old or she? Maybe. Yeah, this ring in your hand. For which of them? Give him mine. This is for the new wife. She Where said. Her own ring? I, she said she's not. I mean, she. I mean, she has divorced. Where is her ring? Did you say that you used to bless your second wife? 
<laughs> Ari is not here. Where is he? I, I don't know. You go and bring it to your wife. Because you are married to two of them and you went in both of them. Until she knows the right thing to do with you. Yeah. How old does it grow? How long does it grow? How, how, like how many years now? How many years is this marriage? This year will make it 10 years. Good. David, prepare for the case that is coming for you. Talk about it. The next phase, what you came to complain is this. He doesn't take care of the children. It's a child neglect. Yes, ma'am. But you have confirmed that even to a recent time, he sent money to the account. Has he been paying for the children's school fees? Thank you for that question. The children fees, school fees that he had paid, he started this September. But you know that you left some debts, whether one night or two nights. Did you, did you have, are you aware that he has been paying the debts he left? Yeah, he's told me. Has he paid all? I don't know if he has paid all, but he told me when he's paid. Has he not been communicating you the people you are owing? I stopped because of I lost my voice. Communicating you, yes. Me? No, 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 no. You thought uh, they must have forfeited the money. You thought they must have let the money go. No. So, if your husband has paid two fifty in three years and he started supporting children since September, what else do you want from this man? I expected you to say you need the marriage. But wait, so long money is the problem here, and this man, you left your, left, you know, he inherited debt from you. And he has been able to pay. Oh okay, you don't pay all your investment. Okay. Give him my. No, I said I've almost finished it. Like, finished it. like she, she was, uh, she was owing a, a lapo. Now I have to tell her to, to, to step aside on, on that one. But the grooming, the rice woman, and the beans, and uh, the, um, Contribution have cleared those ones. Like that was almost five to six hundred thousand. You are owing. You are owing. Uh, you la- have their number. You have. Uh, you have we don't uh, have them. Unless if they yeah. can schedule this. Uh, this uh, we are joining. We are joining. But the only uh, reason why. Ma? The only reason. We are joining so that you can provide those proofs. Okay. Yeah. They are. Okay. They are number. Okay. But the only reason why you will be free from Lagos uh, law of not. Uh, Taking care of your kids is when you provide those proof that you have been paying some uh, debt okay. that you should get the money. You understand? So we are going to adjourn this. So when next you come again, we will allow people to call in. Viewers, remember today's uh, statement they both uh, gave to enable you when you call in, when next they come. We are not going to take you back to start giving a fresh statement or starting all over again. So please have it in your memory that when next we bring them before you, you will remember the question you were supposed to ask today when you called in. All right. You have your, you, you should be able to provide the accurate amount of things you left before you went to your village. The accurate amount of things you were owing before you left, you provide us in the next uh, meeting. Yes. Then the money you have paid so far, you are paid to their account, have you? No, it was the like, was account. And so the ground man was uh, the other sellers in commission now and was cash. So it was cash. But the group was uh, so the price woman was cash too. So she knows the they want to pay cash, provide us their numbers. Okay. Their money. They want to send to account to provide us. The money you send, when you you account all this, you know all this group. When you bring, they will write it, they will just, just all this group, they will have their number. You have the account the manager. Uh, I can get one of them. Let them be no any information. Mommy, uh, mommy. Any amount. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, they will write it because it you must well. provide full amount you are paid. Okay. You cannot see somebody is owing debt of one million. Mm. Whereas what she is owing is hundred thousand naira. So if you say you want to pay is over five hundred thousand, give us a proof. Because there must be a reason why you went to remarry without divorcing her 
properly, whether lo whether traditionally or otherwise. So you must give us genuine reason why you have to do that. What is today? Today is twenty-four. Today is twenty-four. I joined the case next week. And for me to get those people, so I have to go to their office and uh, all those things. So, I don't have their phone number. You go to the office and get their phone number. So I can even give you the, the statement of that, what you have been saying. How much is going to give it to you? And you should also go to uh, LAPO, even though you have not been paying there. She said you have more this in my school. So do okay. all that one that doesn't take a week, but if you want us to give it to you, we should. Uh, let me have that two weeks. Let me have that two weeks. I can be able to... Up on Monday, I... 12 o'clock in the day. Give me is there any proof you want to bring it? I don't understand. Is there any proof you may want to bring when coming as well? So you are the you are the debtor, you are the one that's supposed to even call them. They will send the you proof they are supposed to bring. Because I lost the phone. The SIM. I cannot be office. able No, I can't you I can't be able to them, as your husband is also doing that. You call them. I am missing so so missus that was that is owing you people. Maybe I want to start seeing what I can do to pay. How much am I owing now? They will send you the I can go there by myself. Oh. I can go. So as your husband, they gather his own. You gather your own. Mm, I will go there. All right. Offer week. Monday by Thursday. What is next week? What is next week? I can get you. Next week. Before then, you call the pager to transfer the case file here. Yeah. That's the seventh. Seven. 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 June seventh. Did you say he was beating you? Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry. Why were you beating him? I never, I never knew my Use your mic now. I never knew my hand on her. All the time, she just cooked. You just may, you may lay your hand. I did not even touch her. I did not even touch her. What was it? I did not even touch her. Even my children witnessed it. I did not even touch her. My children witnessed it. Sir, the only thing that I don't know if they can be able to, where is I live? Where I live? Let them come there and make their. Give her witness on her. Okay. Let them come there and make their. Oh, go away first now. Give her the mic. Yes, sir. Do you have any witness to that? To the beating? Yes. Yeah. My sister is a witness because I no, called no. my mom. She was not there, but I called my mom. But my no, children no, witnessed that. I wasn't there. No, what I mean is that when the incident happened, my mom now called her. No, I'm asking you guys what she said. Did you mean your sister wasn't there? Or no, she was, there? she was not there. But my children was there. It was in the presence of my kids. If you ask them, they can sit up. Two years ago, I told you. My children, they are too, they are too brilliant. They can still tell you how it happened. All right, we will continue for where we will. I can't even count because it's uncountable. It's not once, it's not twice. He has been doing it. All right, we will continue. From all this on the seventh, that is Monday seventh, that is uh, June seventh by twelve. That is noon.
Okay. Even my former landlady must be away because my former landlady, yes, she's away. Because through the window, she, she we are hearing the noise and everything. If I pass, if they cannot be able to, my former landlady, she will be away. Don't worry, by the two weeks that we will take the news from the All right? We can still get him arrested, whether it's 10 years Use your mind. Full at Akute Dea, Obi State. Thank you for being with us. You'll be back in a moment.